Hey guys, welcome to Coding Spot. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to install Python, how to use pip to install models like Pygame, and how to install and set up Sublime Text 3 in Windows. So if you have a Mac, make sure to see my video on how to do all these things in Mac. There's a link to the video in the description below. Okay guys, so the first thing we wanna do is download Python. So we wanna go to python.org I'm gonna put the link in the description. We wanna to go to downloads and we wanna scroll down to where it says Windows. As you can see, we can download the latest version of Python 2, which in my case is the 2.7.18, but we can also download the latest version of Python 3, which in my case is the 3.8.5. As we want Python 3, we are going to click right here and once we're here, we are going to go down to where it says files. And we're going to do the following. We're going to right click this Windows logo and we're gonna search for system. My PC is in Spanish, but yours, if it's in English, should say system. We click it and we are gonna search for type of system. As you can see, my type of system is 64 bits, but you can have a system with 32 bits. So that's important because if you have a 32 bit system, you wanna download this executable. But if you have a 64 bit system, you wanna download this executable. As that's my case, I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna wait for it to download. Okay, so once Python has been downloaded, we can go ahead and double click in order to install it. So this window is gonna pop up and the first thing you wanna do is check this box that says add Python 3.8 to path. Okay, so once you do that, you can go to customize installation and we need to make sure this pip box is marked because that will let us install new packages and new models, new Python models. And I'm going to uncheck this documentation because it takes too much space, but you can leave it, it is, it's just fine. We can go back now and we can hit in install now. So we're gonna say yes and we need to wait until it's finished. Okay, so once our installation has finished, we can go ahead and check if we have correctly installed Python and pip in our computer. So we wanna open our command prompt. So go ahead and write CMD in your search bar, open it, and we're gonna write Python hyphen B. And this will tell us what Python version our system currently has. So it should be the one you just downloaded. Now we can do the same to see our pip version. So go ahead and write pip hyphen b. And you should see something like this coming up. So if you're not seeing this in your command prompt, it's probably because you didn't install it correctly. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test our pip installer by installing Pygame model or any model you want. So we need to write pip install and the name of your model, in this case Pygame, and hit enter. Okay, so once the model has been installed, you should see something like this coming up. And if you wanna be sure that you have correctly installed your model, you can write pip show and the name of your model. And something like this should pop up. Okay guys, we're now gonna install Sublime Text 3, which is a text editor. So basically it's a place where you can write your code and not only Python code, but any code because it supports plenty of programming languages. So we wanna go to sublimetext.com I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And once we're here, we wanna click where it says download. And again, if you have a 64-bit system, you wanna click here. And if you don't, you wanna click here. So in my case, as I have a 64-bit system, I will click here 
I'm gonna wait until it downloads. Okay guys, so it has already downloaded. So we're going to double click here. We're going to wait until a window pops. So here we need to tell where we wanna save it. I will just put next. I'll put next again. I'll put install. We're gonna wait until it installs. Okay, so Sublime has finished. We are gonna click here where it says finished. And it should open. Nope. So we're gonna search for Sublime Text in the search bar. There it is. We're gonna click it. And we have our Sublime Text editor. So before the video ends, I wanna quickly show you how to create a Python file. So it's pretty simple. You need to go to File, then to Save. We're, we're gonna choose the location where we're gonna save our file. And we're gonna put the name of our file right here. In my case, I'm gonna use Test. And we're gonna add the .py extension. So this is telling Sublime that we're gonna create a Python script. So let's go ahead and save it. And when we have our Python file, we can start coding in Python. So I made a Python script that uses Pygame, the Pygame model we downloaded and installed in this video, uh, to simply test it. So the code is this one. You can copy it if you want. I'm gonna save. And in order to run and test this script, we need to go to Tools and then to build, or you can hit Control B. We hit in build, and as you can see, I've created a Pygame screen with the Pygame model that we downloaded and installed in this video. So I think that's all for this video, guys. If you enjoy, please like it, please subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.